Hey guys, welcome back to the Halloween Horror Marathon. Um, this is episode 5. Uh, today we will be taking a look at Mario Bava's, or Mario, sorry, Mario Bava's Black Sabbath. Now this is an anthology horror film. There's three stories in this movie. And, well, if you're a fan of Mario Bava or Italian horror cinema like I am, you know, you'll be in for a treat. This is a pretty cool movie. Um, now... Um, you know, sometimes, you know, anthology horror films have narrators, and this time, the narrator of this film is, Bar is um, Boris Karloff, and that's interesting considering that this is an Italian motion picture, you know, that's pretty, I, I mean, I wonder how uh, Mario Bava actually got the, got a hold of, um, Boris Karloff now, however, this is, um, Boris Karloff, uh, near the end you know, this is, he's pretty old in this movie. Um, I mean, he still puts up an excellent performance. Um, he plays two roles in this movie. I mean, he's a narrator and he plays uh, a vampire. Now, on to the... Um, the movie has three stories. The first story is called A Drop of Water. And it's about um, a, fu a funeral parlor... A funeral parlor um, assistant who... Um, who goes to um, in a house where an old an old woman has just passed away. Now the reason supposedly she passed away is because she had a heart attack. But another rumor spread that um, she died of a heart attack because of a séance in which spirits killed her. And of course the the funeral parlor lady thinks it's all rubbish, and she you know she she just ignores it. And so anyway, she steals the ring off of the corpse. And by the way, the corpse looks this absolutely hideous. It is so creepy. In the drop of water, the face is just made into this horrible snarl, and the eyes are like wide open. But anyway, she takes the ring, and you know the <coughs> the, the the housekeeper is very you know she's very scared and superstitious about the the whole thing, so she leaves as well. So anyway, our um, our protagonist goes back to the house. She. She keeps the ring away. She puts it on her finger. And some strange things begin to happen, like a fly she saw back at the house on the on the lady's corpse is now flying around the house and the lights go out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that of what happens. That's a great watch the movie though. Please watch Black Sabbath, great movie. So, I'm not going to give away any spoilers on this one. Okay, the next story is about you know, a young woman living at home. But then she gets a bunch of mysterious phone calls, some threats, stuff like that. You know, kind of kind of the uh, killer on the other line kind of thing. And she wonders if it is her... I can't remember her boyfriend who she actually... Um, turned in, and he was sent to jail, but she wonders if it's him making the mysterious phone calls and threats, so that's that's pretty much that story, I'm not going to give it away, and the last story is the World Auk, or that's however you pronounce it, it's about a young family living, living out in the European countryside, and they're terrorized by a vampire, played by Boris Karloff, as you can see, and... One by one, he takes possession of the family and turns him also into vampires. So anyway, that has been my review. Of, well, oh wait. Ah, God, I almost ended it there. But, sorry about that. But anyway, as I was saying, this movie is great. The cinematography is, like, top-notch. Um, in fact, the, the way this movie was shot and the sets and the whole atmosphere reminds me of a Hammer Horror film. If you guys are into Hammer Horror movies, I would check this out. Um, and of course, this is an Italian production. It was made by Mario, Mario Bava. Um, very, very creepy um, atmosphere. It gets me in the mood for Halloween. And this was my first viewing of the film. Uh, but anyway... Um, you know, it's a, it's a cool movie. And another interesting fact is, you know, the name Black Sabbath may sound very familiar. You know, the British heavy metal band, very important in the music industry. I'm a fan. But I found out 
um, when they were still called um, Earth, before they were called Black Sabbath, they actually saw this movie being screened across the street. And I think, I think the either the bassist said it would be a good idea to name it after this horror movie. So, yeah. I guess they were fans. And I can't blame them because this movie's awesome. So anyway, guys, check out Black Sabbath. Really creepy, atmospheric horror movie. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my review, and see you on the next episode.